Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. I was wrong against Obaseki. Igini, Mayeki begs. My people, the begging, apologizing by John Mayeki continues. Okay, so John Mayeki has called uh, his family on Christmas Day while others were celebrating he, I mean, I, I, I kind of really respect him. I know that he, he did something wrong initially. He said it with his mouth that he's sorry. So when somebody comes in and tells you they are sorry, it takes humility. So that's why I say I respect him. So please don't crucify criti me, okay? And he said it with his mouth that politicians pushed him to do what he didn't want to do. In fact, they, they, when they got the, the, the information that um, uh, Obaseki was giving out Ghana must go to a Guinea, uh, which was not true, there was no video evidence, they told him to come and make a press statement, which he did. And he said he was pushed by politicians. Although he didn't mention the politician's name, but I mean, you can infer, you know, that's your prerogative. And guess what? He has not only stopped apologizing to a Guinea, the... Um, INEC official who is from Akwa Ibom, but he has gone ahead and also apologized to Obaseki. Remember, the character deformation was not just to the INEC official. It also shows that if that is true, Obaseki bribes. Okay? So he's also apologizing because what he said, according to him, it's a lie. So let's understand this guy. John Maeki has admitted that he's wrong insisting it was a conspiracy against Mike Igini and God, Governor Gordon Obaseki to rig the Edo State election. He also made mention that he was pushed by politicians to make that statement. In a statement admitting his error, he admitted that the statement he released on behalf of Osage Ize Iyamu campaign, alleging that a huge amount of money was packaged by Obaseki given to Igini, which he published and made a press conference on, was wrong and is a lie, and has been subjected to security scrutiny, and he has come out to say he's sorry. He apologizes for the sensitive, insensitive way he behaved, trying to tarnish the integrity of Igini and the resident electoral commissioner in Akwa Ibom State. He admitted that he's wrong. Now, this is what he wrote. He, he has apologized to him and has also come out now to apologize to Obaseki. As the year wind down, I have spent some time, days, reflecting on my actions and activities. As a professional, I have disgraced myself. I have not acted accordingly. I have formally written an apology letter, not just to Igini, but also to Einek. I am truly sorry. My characters, my decision was embarrassing. I took the wrong decision. I made the wrong decision in criticizing a man I know nothing about. I sincerely give my unreserved apology to Mike Igini and Governor Gordon Obaseki. I did not witness any secret night meeting with a rider that left the governor's residence with a sack of money. This is an embarrassment, but I have to humble myself. I have done what is wrong, and I have to come back on page with you to tell you that I once made a mistake, and I am coming back to correct my wrong. I pray to God that he will forgive me because of my conscience will not, have, will not let me Go into the new year with this wrong not being right, written right. I sincerely tender my apology to the executive governor of Edo State, Governor Godwin Obaseki. I have offended you in my course of duty. I have carried out what was not right. In the year ending, August 27 was the most epic day of my life. I will never forget how I used the media to campaign against a man who has been appointed. 
I released a statement about 5.27 p.m. with cross-examination as a professional ju journalist rather than based my judgment on information and sources, truth, and on being biased. I unfortunately allow political interests to motivate and bring me to the path of crossroad. I have taken time to reflect on my decision and I've come to say to the executive governor of Edo State, I am truly sorry. I know that as a human, we are all human and not far from erring. This is one mistake and I seek to get your approval and credibility going forward. I will prove myself that I am not like that. I was pressured and pushed in the face of adversity. I am really sorry. I take responsibility, full responsibility for my actions. I am not undermining what I have done. I know that you have no confidence in me, but I am writing to sincerely apologize and I will regain and build my confidence and trust for you on me again. I am sorry, my dear governor. So this is Mike Igeni going to Governor Baseki, writing formally to him, apologizes to Baseki and said, I tender my profound apology to not just Igeni, which I have done already, publishing it in, you know, uh, international, in, in national papers and news outlets, but I'm also writing to the executive governor of Edo State, Governor Godwin Obaseki, whose name also appeared in the statement. It was all, I mean, he did nothing to me. I shouldn't have done that. It was a bad decision and um, I was pressured. As much as it's not an excuse, I stand. I do not um, undermine my, what I have done. I take full responsibility and I'm sorry. So this is your own brother, Mike, and I believe Governor Gordon Obaseki should forgive him. You know, he should forgive him and, you know, let bygones be bygones. I know that the man has offended you. I know that he has said what he shouldn't have said. However, he has come out openly to say he was wrong. He admits he's wrong and he has said he's really sorry. So I think it's only fair that you forgive him and um, move on. You know, in life, people will not only offend you, you will also offend people. I would like you guys to leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.